Oh, what's up, Crows? It's Kurt here with Abstract Gaming. Bringing you some Halo Reach gameplay today, guys. Playing a little bit of social by myself because I'm so lonely. Oh, so lonely. I have a no. Guys, I want to talk about the plans with Halo, at least on this channel, for 2020. But even according to 343, the hype train just kicked off of Halo Reach, but it's not going to slow down at all for 2020. And that is the same way with this channel, this guy above me. But guys, this is the year of Halo Infinite, and I'm super stoked. Halo Infinite looks like it's going to be amazing, especially if it's going to be open world like people are predicting it's going to be. I mean, can you only imagine a open world, but just how replayable and expansive. Like, just think about Halo and how broad the universe is. It's going to be fantastic playing that and actually getting to take advantage of all the vehicles and the sandbox that is Halo. So it's going to be absolutely amazing. That's one thing that 343 has kind of been slacking off on in terms of Halo is their Halos have been kind of linear even the vehicle parts have been straightforward but if you go back and play Halo Combat Evolved the maps were pretty large um, you know it never had a whole lot of missions to do you have like nine missions but each mission just felt like you know you was just thrown into a war on a Halo range and it just was so fun so now to have that and be even bigger especially if they go a route of you don't have to drop in and out of locations like okay I landed at New Mombasa I'm going to go and play all those missions and it's going to be super fun and I'm extremely stoked uh, he walked right into that so I can only imagine what it would be like playing Halo Infinite Open World. He didn't walk into that one, man. He, he dodged that one. And just like, oh my gosh, dude. Just looking far off and seeing like Wraiths and Scorpion Taints, Pelicans and all these vehicles. 343 has released a couple new images of Halo Infinite. And guys, it looks pretty nice. Uh, it is concept dark, so you don't get a whole lot of details just by looking at the images but I will post them on the screen here for everyone to look at uh, but I'm extremely excited to see oh that on John Wick over here um, super excited to see I'm imagining that there will be a new Infinite Vidoc coming out rather soon. So we will hopefully get some Halo Infinite footage uh, sometime in the... Oh man, what a nice team shot. Uh, in the upcoming months. There's just so many great games, movies, and everything coming out this year, guys. 2020 looks like it's going to be a fantastic year for media. But even with Bloom, Halo Reach is still a pretty fun game. Like even with the armor abilities. Honestly, even though even though armor lock is a theme in this game, this is probably the best armor ability Halo there is. The gunplay is fantastic. That's bad nade. That one wasn't so bad. Because they don't play that huge of a guys did you see sorry teammate you were dead out of the way um, the armor builders didn't play a help didn't play a huge role in victories yes I have sprint but I'm barely using it now evade dude evade is OP now like I was saying there are a few 
buds that need to be addressed. There is the spawn points. Dude, some of the spawn points are very bad. Like, I'll be playing and I'll kill a guy and then I'll be DMR and his teammate. And all of a sudden, he respawns right underneath his feet. Which is something that did not happen in the original Halo Reach. Why does this building always show me the wrong floor? Oh, nice night. Watch this. He's coming, he's coming, he's coming. I do the jump, throw. Oh, he went the... Dude, you went the wrong way. He just went the other way for the stick to work. Grenade out. I'm not the biggest fan of this map, but I do really enjoy the zero gravity uh, mid area. It's so fun to go and get in like a 4v1 DMR battle. So, yeah, there you are. Going straight for the sword. Predictable. That was actually a extremely easy DMR kill. But also, guys, speaking of like, TV shows and stuff, uh, they have started filming the Halo TV series and I'm extremely excited for that I did enjoy the uh, forward unto done transmedia that they released for Halo 4 don't don't steal it nice of you my friend see this is a cool guy he, he shot and he's like you know, his conscience started bothering him. And he actually allowed me to... He actually allowed me to finish the assassination. Something about Halo Reach... Like, in Halo 5, I absolutely hate assassinations. It's just... A lot of stuff about Halo 5 and 343's Halos just feel... I don't know, it just feels off. Like, look at the armor in Halo 5, it doesn't... Like something someone would really use. Like it seems like something uh, a child would draw. Like it's got a bunch of shapes, a round object, a unicorn horn. Uh, that's not Halo. Like, yes, Bungie did have a few helmets that made no sense. Like, why would you use an EVA helmet, man? You're going to get shot in the face so much easier because most of your helmet is a visor. But still, it looked amazing. It looked practical you know you could be able to look up higher than uh, most other Spartans would Got right here that was the first time the shotgun felt right sorry friend this is Gears of War wait no, no it's not so why am I using a shotgun speaking of shotguns it's pretty much all the new Call of Duty is anymore, unfortunately. But I'm super, dude. I can't wait. Like I know I say it a lot, but I really can't stress how excited I am for Halo Infinite this year. It has been so long since we've got a new mainstream Halo game. You better watch out. Hey, Warface, how's it going, man? Um, a new mainstream Halo game, guys. And not to mention a new console generation starts this year. I'm going to die. And it looks fantastic. Like, honestly, they said that Phil Spencer said, usually, you know, be like, oh, here's what the design looks like. Get us the best specs in this case that we can have. But this year, they're like, no, build the best PC, and then we will worry about what it looks like. So they ended up with a tower style. It's not quite as big as a PC, what some people may uh, want to believe. It is a bit more narrow. Ooh, that was close. Got a party invite too. It is a bit more narrower than a PC tower, but it definitely has a tower look to it. Actually, probably more so than the PC tower. I, I imagine like the Leaning Tower of Pisa, and it's pretty narrow, but very tall. And that is what the Xbox Series X has went for. Oh. If I had a team that actually uh, shot with me, I probably would have had a kill tag right here. Because there are... 
Oh, let me fly forever, please. Oh, I shot a grenade. That may have saved my life. Oh, I killed Mufasa. I thought that guy dipped out, but no, he does not leave a teammate behind. Which, mad respect to you, my friend. You should never leave a teammate behind. Especially in Halo Reach, it is a huge team-based Halo. You know, Halo 2 and stuff, you know, you could get away with one solo. But Halo Reach, you probably still could, but it definitely, uh, if you're getting team dmr you're most likely going to lose. Uh, not so much in social like I'm playing now. Because some people have trouble pacing their shots for the DMR. But in MLG, or like... Ugh. No! I wanted it so bad, dude. If I... I don't want to talk. I can't take anymore. I want the overkill. I'm dating a thousand party invites. Oh, that guy might have sword. Excuse me. Excuse me, where's the door? Guys, I believe this would be the perfect time to end the video. If you enjoyed it, please like and subscribe. Hit that bell. You should be one of the first to know exactly when we upload. And like always, guys, like always, God bless. And don't forget to wipe.